All right, what's going on everybody? I hope you're doing good. Today we're gonna to train some shoulders. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through it, what I think of when doing the movements. And uh, now I'm doing my warm up. I'm almost done, so let's get to it. I'm gonna share with you what I do exactly. So let's uh, set you up right here. I think you're fancy, just uh, set you up. And then uh, I just do shoulder rolls, very basic <clears throat> first to really get the shoulder area warm as shit. And then I like to do this right here to just make sure my back and my traps, everything is nice and tight. So I just put my hands like this and try to go as far back as possible and have a full contraction in my back, basically. So everything in the shoulder area and my back will be nice and warm. So I will just do this right here all day for like five minutes. So I just do this right here for five minutes, shoulder rolls, and then I do this to mimic the movement of a push press or a shoulder press because that's what we're gonna do first. So just warm up like this and then do the back, warm up the back. And then I just take my elastic band right here to really make sure I'm super warm because my shoulders get really cold fucking fast for me. If I don't keep them warm, they will get cold. And when you're cold, you can't move as fast as you want to. And then the movements feel awkward and the, the, the weights feel heavier. And then you're more prone to injury. So make sure you're nice and warm. Nothing too fancy, just get everything over here nice and warm. And I uh, did do a 10 minute warm up before this as well to just get my whole full body warm as fuck <laughs> So when I do this warm up with the, bar, the empty barbell, I like to do a mix of using my knees for push presses and then I like to do them strict with no leg drive whatsoever to just get my movement pattern warmed up, get my brain used to, be, to basically doing push presses. So today the goal for me is going to be to do push presses, so basically use my knees for a leg drive and pushing for uh, three or no, four sets of six reps today. That's gonna be the goal. Uh, I'm gonna work on having good, decent speed and uh, 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 that's pretty much it for now. Let's get to it. I'll take a break, refocus, and try again. If I see this upcoming set is moving as bad as the, what I just did, I'm gonna lower the weight, and like I said before, focus on technique. <laughs> Shit! 
just just you are you are. Okay? Let me tell you something, you gotta push the limits to see where they are. Right now I know they're not there yet. So lower the weight, Francis. Focus on technique. And that shit will come back stronger and faster than ever. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit disappointing, but it's all good, you know. Uh, I thought I had that because I've done it before for a set of eight with 225 pounds, I think. But the thing is, I've done that before, but it was months and weeks ago, you know? And I haven't push pressed that much in uh, these past few weeks. So like anything else in weightlifting and lifting weights, it's a skill that your body got to get used to and your muscles got to get used to your conditioning, you know? And uh, the movement pattern and everything. So it's very important to not let your ego get the best of you. Like right there, I lowered the weights 20 pounds. This is 210 pounds. And now I'm gonna go for a set of six, you know, because I know I'm 100% capable of doing that. So that's why I lowered the weight to something I knew I can 100% do. Three more sets of six reps. Let's go for three to four sets of six reps. Because I've, I've, already, I've already done two sets. I did count those. I've done the 3.5 reps and then 5.3 after reps because I didn't finish them off. But it's all good, you know. Uh, it's part of progression. You gotta, you gotta lose some to win some, you know. Can't always win. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's go for six reps this time. I know I'm, do I'm doing this because I've just done it before so many times. When you you've done some things before, that transfers over to confidence and you, you, you know how to do it. So it's important to, to know your limits and know what you can and cannot do and lower the ego when you need to, which is every single session. You should never enter the gym with ego. And I did, you know, I, I did today enter the gym with ego because I thought for sure I had 230, but I did not keep in mind that, hey, that was weeks ago, dude. Your body's not used to that shit anymore. You gotta get, you gotta get back the conditioning in, you know. Anyways, enough talking. Let's go for six reps. Nice and clean.
I don't know how many reps that was. Sometimes I don't count it, I should, but I just go until it really burns. And then I just take a break for three to five minutes and go again for three more sets like this. Gotta put in the volume, gotta stimulate that muscle for growth. You can't just do everything, everything the same as it was last week or last month. There's no growth in that. Your body adapts to weight. You need to stress it and stimulate it for growth. If you keep comfortable in the gym, you're probably not pushing yourself enough. You should always be uncomfortable because it fucking burns, it hurts. But it's all part of the progression. Up next, we'll do some lateral raises for the side part of our shoulder but we'll do them seated. Seated, it helps me to uh, not use my legs at all and really isolate the side part of my shoulder. That's the point of seating lateral raises, to prevent any kind of cheating, any kind of momentum, and really isolate the side part of our shoulder. Let's get to it. One, two, I really try to not shrug whatsoever with my traps. Really do a strict raise to really really isolate the side part of my shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. I like to hold it at the top a little bit, just like this, just slightly, to really burn the side part of my shoulder. Nine. Oh, one more. Okay, drop the weight. Drop the weight and do 10 more, minimum. One. right here to have my chest supported like this and then grab some very light dumbbells because you don't need extremely heavy to isolate the back part of your shoulder it's a very small muscle so make sure you isolate it properly what I do I like to raise in a Y so I think of doing a Y with my hands so Y and then I raise my hands completely in front of me like this so let's do it Go for high reps, 12 to 15 minimum. And that right here, I feel a great burn in the back part of my shoulder. I really try to squeeze right here and really squeeze every single rep, the back part of my shoulder and isolate it. The 
the thing I keep in mind when doing shrugs with dumbbells is I go all the way up as high as I can. I try to think of shrugging as high as I can, try to reach my ears basically, and hold. Go back down, shrug, hold it to really burn the, tra the traps, and then go back down, okay? Don't do this, don't do this right here. This is ineffective. You're not gonna isolate and burn the muscles. You really wanna squeeze, go back down. Squeeze, go back down. Don't do this shit. Shoulder rolls or whatever the fuck this shit is. Don't do that, it's ineffective. It's a waste of time and energy. You're not isolating anything, okay? So make sure to squeeze, go back down. I like to think of a 0.5 to a second pause at the top and go back down. Let's get to it. For eight to 15. One. around let's do a drop set right now lower the weights drastically and keep going for 8 to 12 more let's go One. two more sets like this and that's it for today's workout wow. that's effective I really feel a good burn right here in my traps I feel the blood flow rushing in and uh, it's good I feel it's gonna be sore that's good thank you for watching leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future comment down below it helps the YouTube algorithm recommend the video more. And I'll see you later with another video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Have a good day.